Here's a quick video about how you can calculate uh, very easily a uh, dilution factor. So let's assume you have a 100 micromolar protein solution and the protein has a molecular mass of 500.0 gram per mole. Usually we are just giving the uh, uh, molecular mass to one decimal place. And uh, we want to get a 0 0.001 milligram per milliliter solution. And we ask, what is the dilution factor? Now, the dilution factor is unitless. So the dilution factor is usually something like 1 in 100 or 1 in 1000 or something like that. So it doesn't have any units. And that means that we have to uh, convert the uh, units that we have here of our stock solution. We have it in, uh, in molar units and here we have it in uh, milligram per milliliter. So we have to convert these units and we can do it either we can convert the uh, micromolar to gram per liter or we can convert the uh, milligram per milliliter to uh, molar. Which way around, it doesn't matter. Uh, it should always give the same result. So uh, let's just simply uh, convert. Uh, let's start with this one here. We convert that to uh, gram per liter. So uh, we can use our trusted uh, dimensional analysis. So we want to have the unit gram per liter. And we have grams here. So we have 500 gram per mole. So the grams are in the right place. Uh, we just have to get rid of the moles. And we have uh, moles hidden in the micromolar. So we can write this as 100 times 10 to the minus 6 mole per liter. That's this uh, micromolar, that's the 10 to the minus 6. And what we see is that the mole cancel each other out. And we have the unit of gram per liter, and that is exactly what we want. So we can use that, and we can say we have... 500 times 100 times 10 to the minus 6 gram per liter. And we can simplify that and that gives us 0 0.05 gram per liter. Now that is um, the first step. Now in order to find the dilution factor, uh, what we do is we uh, convert this one here into something useful and we have 0 0.001 milligram per milliliter, uh, which we can also write as 0 0.001 times 10 to the minus 3 gram per 1 times 10 to the minus 3 liter, that's uh, each of them is the milli. <coughs> now we see that these uh, cancel out and this is equal to 0 0.001 gram per liter. And what we can do now is we can uh, calculate our dilution factor and I abbreviate that here. Uh, and we can say 0 0.001 gram per liter divided by 0 0.05 gram per liter. And we see that the units gram per liter cancel each other out. And we have left 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.05 and this gives us 0 0.02.
And we can write this uh, in a, a slightly nicer form. 0 0.02 is 2 divided by 100. So our dilution factor in this case would be 2 divided by 100 or 2 in 100. If you did this the other way around by converting 0 0.001 milligram to milliliter to molar, you would also get exactly uh, this uh, value, so 2 in 100. And that is basically the answer to this question. That is your dilution factor. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.